Well, folks, we all pride ourselves here down deep in our underground lair on being gonzo journalists at heart. And we take that creed seriously as we stay up late nights binging on random street drugs, participating in wild orgies, and then doing our very best to bring you the news. So when we hear of the plight of one of our own, we take special note. This story out of Patch.com today. A self-described gonzo journalist was injured Saturday after a scuffle with a Donald Trump supporter who was part of a pro-Trump rally at which a smaller group showed up to decry the president's administration. Kit O'Connell, a self-described, quote, openly biased gonzo journalist for hire, unquote, was part of a small group of protesters who showed up at a counterbalance to a gathering of some 300 Trump supporters voicing support for the reality star turned president. The pro-Trump rally started on a rainy Saturday afternoon at Woolward Square Park with a rendition by demonstrators of the national anthem, the group prayer, and some speechifying, followed by a march to the Capitol before returning to its starting point. While Austin has joined other cities in staging peaceful protests, marches, rallies, and vigils against Trump virtually every day since his inauguration, Trump supporters throughout the country finally mobilized on Saturday in support of the president to counter such anti-Trump demonstrations. Dubbed March for Trump, with the Austin version drawing an estimated 300 supporters. But the dynamic of Austin are almost singularly unique given ongoing sweeps by the U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement officials that began here the first week of February as agents scour the city for undocumented immigrants as part of a Trump-ordered crackdown on migrants illegally having crossed the country. By some accounts, there have been more non-criminal undocumented immigrants detained by ICE now facing deportation than anywhere else in the country. Given that backdrop, clashes in Austin were all but inevitability as pro-Trump forces mobilized for the first time on Saturday. One person witnessing the simultaneously staged dueling rallies reported via Twitter how members of the Austin Police Department sought to separate the two groups to avert violence. Members of O'Connell's collective reported via Facebook that he was arrested by Austin police for assault, claiming it was he who was victimized. They acknowledged, beginning their chant directed at pro-Trump demonstrators with Fuck Trump, Fuck fuck Pence, Fuck your wall, and Fuck you, Fence, Fence, Fuck you, Fence. The second surname uttered in the chant is a reference to Vice President Mike Pence. It was during that chant that some Trump supporters reportedly became incensed and approached the counter-protesters angrily, according to those involved. Quote, Trump supporters charged the protesters, shouting, There are only two genders, and waving flags, which they were using as weapons, unquote, members of O'Connell's collective described on social media. How's that for metaphor? Oh wait, they don't understand metaphor. Supporters of the blogger asked for support of the injured gonzo journalist, who also described himself on Twitter as disabled, queer, and polyamorous. For his part, O'Connell tweeted out a picture of himself recovering from his in- injuries at a hospital while not noting he is still f- facing misdemeanor assault charges lodged by police. Quote, I'm getting too dopey on these pain pills to be online anymore. Unquote. He confirmed news of his alleged assault by a Trump supporter, reporting he suffered a concussion and was awaiting a test to determine whether the extent of the damage to his arm prompted an overnight stay at the hospital. Quote, it's true that I was attacked by a Trump supporter today and being charged with my own assault. I don't have bail, but do have medical fees, unquote. Patch will attempt to contact police to verify details and secure more amplified information, including whether any charges were also lodged against the pro-Trump supporters in the incident. Supporters of O'Connell indicated via Facebook O'Connell's alleged attacker was still at large. And our hearts are with you, fellow gonzo journalist, the Colonel out.